It's time for Fridays in the Field, brought to you by FNBO, the great big small bank. We're talking about seed corn production today, starting out here in the field. Curtis Winters is the field production manager with Syngenta here at the location. Tell me, what makes this spot in Nebraska ideal for growing seed corn? Sure, I would say um, this part of Nebraska, central Nebraska, lots of good soil, lots of good irrigation. Um, with The Ogallala Aquifer here provides us with an abundance of water. And I would say third, a uh, lot of good growers to work with. Uh, we grow seed corn all the way from Chapman down to Hastings, Nebraska. And throughout, we partner with a lot of local growers and, and a lot of good bays here. Now, as we sit here, kind of the first week of October, you're actually wrapping up harvest. When did you begin? So we started on October 7th. Um, we've pretty much been picking almost every day. Uh, we ran into a couple spots where the corn wasn't necessarily dry enough. Um, and so we had to wait for the corn to dry down. Thankfully, we had pretty favorable weather. Usually this time of the year, it's, it's, it's starting to cool off. Um, but we've had some warmer days to, that helps the corn dry down. For those not familiar with this process, it might surprise them the moisture you're trying to, uh, you know, when you're picking the corn, what moisture is that? So it depends on the hybrid. Each hybrid is specific and, and we do studies to, to know which ones are sensitive to drying and, and how much heat they can handle. On average, I would say below 34 we're trying to shoot for, but we can pick some as wet as 38. Let's talk about the logistics of harvest. You've got the pickers, the carts, and the semis out here. How does all that come together? Sure. So we partner with local farmers and you know, they we contract them to get the equipment and then they pick our seed corn acres. Uh, we run three three pickers out of this site and it's able to, to provide us enough uh, of our daily intake. Curtis Winter is joining us as we're out here in the actual seed corn field. And up next, we're going to head to the facility of where they make all this come together to become seed corn. We're now inside the plant and joining us is the plant manager of this location that is Ryan Peter. Appreciate you sitting down with us, Ryan, and giving us a full overview of what happens. And as we saw in the field, of course, the trucks leave, they travel a couple miles down the road and the corn comes here. What comes next once it's offloaded? Well, Rice, we, uh, we bring it into the site. Um, we have 15 trucks uh, carriers that bring it on the site, 13 are local carriers. Um, with that, we unload it at the receiving area, uh, off the walking floors, walk it up through the process. It goes into our husking houses. Uh, in there, it's a, group, a grouping of rollers. It comes off, it removes the husks. It goes onto tables, sorting tables. Uh, there we have a group of individuals that do the sorting. They look for quality. Uh, that's our first step in the process of looking for the quality, the rogue years, things that don't belong um, in the process that happen. Uh, also, they will send up materials that rehusk back up to the conveyors. Uh, from there, in that husking process, it will then go onto the conveyors. The husklage goes out through choppers, uh, which goes to a local feed yard here uh, by Phillips. And then the ears the materials themselves go up to our dryers. They, we fill the dryers uh, to a certain depth for the, to maximize the quality of drying time per units per hour. Uh, and then from there, we will shell the material, going through our sheller building, going through the bulk storage. Uh, we have about a million units worth of bulk storage. So we'll get that filled before the end of the season, and then we'll be ready to start packaging. It'll look like uh, the box behind us leaving this facility. How yes, about that? it will. Yeah, it will. So, yes, we'll put it in uh, wonderful looking boxes like that behind us, uh, get it ready to go to the sales. Um, we'll start that process uh, here very shortly. Uh, we'll start that in October, uh, begin shipping right away in, in this quarter um, to get the sales demands and get needs out there. Uh, so we'll begin that process now and then we'll ship all the way from California to North Dakota and Texas. Um, from this specific site. Uh, we do have other corn facilities in Waterloo, Nebraska, and Lone Tree, uh, and the Iowa, and then they have their own distribution areas as well um, where they'll ship products and materials. One of the things we learned with Curtis in the field was the moisture that they were uh, picking corn at. And of course, the drying process here at the plant is an important step. What do you bring the corn down to drying before you shell it? So we have a goal of 12.5 to 13.5% moisture. A uh, little variation on that, but we really try to keep tight to that. Um, that allows for the best uh, vigor of the of the material later on of the corn, uh, the, the maturity as well. Um, so we will we'll definitely stay our focused on that. So usually four to four and a half hours per point for a lot of our hybrids is what we're looking for um, through our dryers and our shelling process. So that's where we try to focus. You talked about quality. You mentioned that a couple of the times in reviewing the process. That's a, obviously that's an important step in everything that you do here. How do you maintain that? Yeah, so we spend a lot of time um, focusing efforts. We have a, a process at the beginning of the season and at the end where we, we speak specifically about quality and what the site themselves 
um, what they're seeing. So we do have 40 employees here that take a lot of pride and ownership in what they do. Uh, they're part of the local communities and so they really stay focused on quality um, of the product that they put out because basically their name is also on the bags and materials that we put out through here. So we spend a lot of time focusing on that. Um, we have a lot of good relationships with our research groups, um, SPR, trialing, those types of, of individuals that put data together for us to help direct us on how we should dry, what we should be looking for, um, specifics in the field when they're doing the growing uh, part of the process uh, and what that looks like. Um, we also here at the site have quite a bit of automation and modernization that we've been going through. And so with that, there are checks that are being built into the processes that help us identify quality issues before it gets out to the door. Uh, ultimately, we're trying to avoid that anything that goes to the customer that doesn't have the stamp on it of Seal for Syngenta. That's be pretty cool for you as the plant manager, but also those 40 year round employees, you know, the, the seed corn you're putting into bags or, or bulk here, ultimately it could be planted just out your front door here in what uh, certainly a heavy corn producing state that is Nebraska. Yes. Talk about that and the pride that uh, you and the employees have in that. Yeah, so we, so I would definitely say um, we're also part of other community involvement with the communities close by with Aurora and Phillips. And so as we develop relationships with those areas and those entities, we also have 30 growers and 10 landlords in the area that we, that we partner with. Um, they can see the value in what they have on the, on the farm and on the acre, uh, as well as how we try to join the community and be a part of that. So there is a, a sense of pride and ownership in, in everything that they do with that. And they, and they can see it as we, as we have events in the area, so. I asked a similar question to Curtis out in the field, but what's your favorite part to being the plant manager? Probably the people along with the process. Uh, people just in general. I, I like working with uh, every different division that we have, whether it's commercial and sales, the quality group. Everybody brings something different to the table. Um, and then the, the people themselves, seeing the pride and ownership in what they have and what we put out and what we produce. Um, and it is local and it, and it is driving the economy in the area and to help them provide with what they need. Um, I take the most pride in that, I really do. I think that's, that's sometimes overlooked in, in the production side of things, but I, I really do enjoy that process. Well, this has been a cool day, getting to see kind of behind the scenes of how this all comes together. Thank you very much for opening up the plant to us and uh, letting our cameras in to show everybody. All right, you're very welcome. Fridays in the Field is brought to you by FNBO, the great big small bank. We'll see you next Friday.